if it's your first high diving event, you're gonna have to buckle up your seatbelt and enjoy the ride because it's gonna be a thrilling one. High diving is a bit more special as it's outside, not a permanent venue. It's a very um, spectacular sport to which I think uh, the Bahrain Olympic Committee saw potential in that and wanted to host something in uh, the open sea. We know this is a new sport to the region. High diving is not like the normal diving because it's, we're di they're diving off 20 meters and 27 meters and it takes a uh, you know, special type of talent, special type of athlete to compete at, that, at this level. We have a unique structure, a unique uh, uh, dive uh, that's never been attempted before to, di to dive off a bridge. Here it's even more special, I'd say, because it's from a bridge, which is our first time at World Aquatics doing a high diving event from a bridge in open sea, which is really, really cool. Bahrain is, is very unique in that the structure is attached, you know, uh, to the bridge and there's a street right behind the structure. <laughs> it's, it's really, really cool um, to see how the sport of high diving can be incorporated into the environment. The preparation has been quite complex process in the sense that you need plans, you need platform plans, you need a scaffolding plans, you need to stop the traffic on the bridge to actually install uh, the platforms, you need to look at the depth and the tides as well because we have in our competition regulations very specific um, meters when you talk about the depth. So from the time you dive until you touch the bottom, it could be quite dangerous if it's not deep enough. So we had to check which part of the bridge was the, the best place to allow for a safe competition and we were quite happy to find that it's possible. I'm expecting a sellout crowd, I think they're going to be amazed because the impact as well uh, when the athletes dive from 20 meters or 27 meters they go uh, as much as 80 kilometers an hour when they hit the water so the sound that it makes I think it's going to impress a lot of people and, and the energy that these athletes have is amazing. They are, are really are entertainers as well. So I think it will be quite special. Anytime our teams get to go to a new place, they're really excited. Ever since we've been here in Bahrain, we felt very uh, warm welcomes and everyone is so kind and accommodating and um, willing to take great care of us. And for that, we're very appreciative. I think the Bahrain Olympic Committee was uh, quite committed in delivering a high level uh, event. We have a long her heritage and history linked to the seas and now we want to build on that and build it into elite performance sports. It's a huge opportunity for this high diving event to be the spark that encourages all of the um, members of your community to get involved. Your country is surrounded by water <laughs> and it's only natural that you get to participate in, in all of these great sports.